Hey there, this is Erica from Ever Educating, and this channel is teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for new college instructors. Today, though, we're talking in a way about ed tech, but we're also talking about philanthropy and tying those two together because I'm going to cover three different websites where there's a trivia or a game type of play that's happening, but getting the answers right leads to donations to different charities. And so, depending on the courses you teach, you might find these websites particularly helpful because it ties into your course content. So we're going to cover these three sites. I'm going to take you behind the scenes so you can see how they work. This first website is what inspired this video, and it's the one I learned about by my coworker, and it's called Free Rice. So freerice.com, and as you can see here, you're playing trivia, and for every correct answer, 10 grains of rice are donated to the UN World Food Program. What's great for this one, it's probably my favorite of the bunch, is that there's so many categories that you can play in. So let's say we click play the game and we end up here. And at this point, it's about definitions, vocabulary. But if you go to the top left, to the hamburger, you can go to categories and to difficulty level. So maybe you are in an English course and you want to test your students' vocabulary knowledge, maybe in prep, let's say, for an SAT if you're teaching high school, where you can say, okay, difficulty level, I want it to be hard, right? And then set the level and go back to the game, and now it's different, okay? Um, or you can say, maybe that's a bit too hard, let's go to normal, select the level, and now you have this one. Right? So you just have different levels here that you can choose from. Obviously, you're teaching younger students. You can go here. And the way it works is, so false means, and here are your options. And in this case, we would say untrue. And that is correct. And as you can see here, now we have 10 grains of rice donated because of English vocabulary. So as you keep going, it goes up to 20, and then 30. If you get it wrong, so let's say fascinating means tragic. It lets you know it's wrong and what's the right one. And now you move on to the next question. But you do not get rice for that one. So this is, again, English classes across different age levels. You can do the difficulty level. But you can also go to categories, and now there's tons of categories. So if you're someone that's teaching philosophy, if you're teaching music, if you're teaching art history, potentially, if you're someone who's in a world history class or geography, you're teaching U.S. history. If you are someone who's maybe in the cl teaching classics, ancient history. Keep on going down and you have other categories. So in English, it's not just vocab, but you can test their grammar knowledge, their spelling knowledge, right? Root words. You're learning a different language. Here are these all these options for learning a different language. And then specific ones, you have even more for Japanese, for Chinese. If you're teaching math, here are four types of math categories that they have. Science. So as you can see, you keep going down this list and there's just tons of options here, right? Psychology, economics. So a lot of these are college level courses as far as the topic goes. And you can just see like, okay, I want you to, you know, take part in this game at the hard level or at the normal level, or at the easy level, right? You, you decide or potentially let them decide on their own, you know, depending on what the goal is of having them do this trivia. So this one's fantastic. I really highly recommend this one the most because again, there's so many categories here and you can say what level of difficulty do you want it to be at? So you can look at the other information as well. Like there, there are other tabs here. I just, I've only kept to the very simple stuff of these two uh, different tabs. The next one is Bean Bean Bean. So beanbeanbean.com. It gives you information here of how it works. So each question you get right, do you donate bean, beans to charity? So here are the categories, right? So they're more limited than the free rice, but they're still math, language, geography, science, and you know general knowledge. So if you teach any of these four, then this could still work for you. So we're gonna go ahead and go down here, play now. And so you can see here that we're in the knowledge category, that maybe you want to go to language, and we're going to do English vocab. There are other ones as well. What's great is they have the ASL alphabet too. So English vocabulary, 
And then you have here easy, medium, hard, right? So you must answer the current question before going on to an easier one. Okay, I've never done it that, that way before. Canaris means... All right, that's not what it means. Try again. Bid means offer. We're back to easy, right? Musician means, right? If you go to medium, right? Fraudulent means, and so forth. So as you can see here, the beans are dropping. So down here, you can see what level you're at. We just started here. The number of beans donated, and the question's right. So we're at four beans, right? The goal is 21. Okay, just to show you here, I advanced in this easy level. So the goal is 21. The beans so far that I've won are 20. This is 20 right in a row. It does start over again if you get one wrong. And so dangerous means unsafe. Okay, so now I have achieved my goal. I can donate the beans or I can keep playing. So this is, I'm going to click donate beans. And they're donated, right? So you can click here and see how it works as well, right? So you'll answer quiz questions, you'll donate it based on the amount you collect. Together, they help the less fortunate, right? So you can see, you know, more information here if you want to. Go back here and you keep playing. We're still at language. And so now the goal again is 21. Okay, here's an example of I got to the first goal. I said I wanted to keep playing rather than donating. So I've answered another one right, for example. As you can see, 22 beans. The goal is 42. Let's see what happens when I get it wrong, though. So win means turkey. Nope. You lost 22 beans, right? So this is kind of, you know, a bit of a challenge in the game because now I have to start from scratch and I didn't do donate anything. So it's going to be up to you to decide, you know, do you always have students donate the 21 beans so that they are donating each time they reach a level? Or are you going to go ahead and have them, you know, you can do it as much as you want and the donation part isn't as important to the goal of giving them the trivia game. It's up to you to decide that, of course. But I wanted to give you that option of knowing that's how it works so that you can tell your students as well. Now, the third website I'm a bit confused by, uh, so it's called Greater Good, right? So games.greatergood.com. And in the top here, it says that, you know, you play these games to support people, pets, and the planet. Play more, give more. And then it has find out how. But what I'm not completely sure about, right? So it says, you know, here are the programs that they're you know, working with. So it has each of our click to give sites has, have always provided a specific donation per click, such as bowls of food in the animal rescue site or acres of habitat saved on the rainforest site. Sometimes, however, the organizations we work for with have needs outside of what the click donations are set up to support. And I give some examples here. I'm not sure then if these games work the same way as the click to give sites where every click is tied to a certain type of donation because I have played a game. So what's great about this site, if it does work well for donations, is just how many games there are. So this is more just like fun games that you might enjoy playing in like your regular life. And if it just so happens to donate to, you know, causes that you support, then, you know, even better, right? So for example, you know, Sweet Shuffle is a very popular type of game. If you go down here and you keep going, if you do Sudoku, Crossword Puzzles. So they have a lot of games here. I'm just not exactly sure how the donation aspect works. If you go to, you know, Greater Good and their main website here and do Play to Give, there are other options. This one I'm going to discuss in a second. The trivia to give one is trivia. And in this case, it has three uh, categories, people, pets, and planet. But you can't like choose, like that's the only categories available. So this one is not so much for, you know, helping your students with your content as a first two were. It's more just if you want to have like, hey, let's have some fun. Let's do some trivia and it's for a good cause. But like the other one, right? Uh, every day when you play, it supports effective, you know, programs helping pets, people on the planet. But you can't see on the page itself exactly what it's doing, right? Before you have, okay, 10 grains of rice per question answered right. And then the beans, depending on how far you go, is how many beans you're donating. This has just, okay, well, here's the question, here's the answer. 
and it tells you, you know, okay, we moved a little bit here. And it has playing for people supports housing for homeless Americans and their pets, which again, great, but how much, you know? So next question here, and you have this one, and I'm not sure, let's say, I'm gonna ask, say that one. Okay, we've progressed here still, even though it was wrong. How is someone who is acrimonious? Okay. Okay, and so I answered, I would say probably around 10 questions. You see the progress bar up here, and it automatically sent me to the next category, pets. So this one is pet food for shelters and rescues. So let me answer 10 more here. And now we're in the planet one. So protecting the biodiversity hotspot. And so I entered those, and now we're finishing the game. Okay, so thanks for answering trivia. Your score is 53. I'll just guessing this randomly to see what it ends up with. Here are more ways you can continue to make an impact. Okay, so it seems here that it limits how much you can answer on a given day. So I believe it probably was 30 questions total. So this one, again, has potential, but I need to do more research, or maybe you will, if you do want to see exactly, you know, what it's giving to these causes. And then just to point out, one of the, the third option under the games was the free kibble. And so this is specifically for shelter pets. And so again, it's trivia, right or wrong, you win, click on an answer, it will provide kibble and supplies. But again, it doesn't say how much they will provide. So this third website isn't as strong as the first two. But I just want to point it out in case you're just a trivia lover or you think your students might be trivia lovers or they want to play these other games with the potential that they actually do uh, end up donating to different causes. You know, definitely something that you might want to give a try to. There are other options as well. So if you go to Greater Good, the main site again, and you have the, go to the click to give. Once again, you have this aspect of if there's anything here that interests you, different shops and such, then again, depending on how much you click, there's a certain donation tied to each click. Something to consider if that interests you. There's also a shop to give and walks to give. It's something to look around and see you know, what interests you. But on the whole, I definitely suggest the free rice as well as the beans for your students. Again, if you teach the certain categories that they offer. This one's a bit more limited, but free rice is it's fantastic. And I love how it specifically says, okay, you get the answer right, it's 10 grains of rice. So it's a bit more solid in showing your students the benefits beyond just getting better knowledge and practicing their, their skills tied to whatever category you choose. If you found this video helpful or interesting, click like and let me know. Comment if you have your own suggestions for websites that do this kind of work of giving to charity and also having you know an upskill for your students. And I'll see you next time with a new video.